This is my framework for helping farmers regenerate their land. It's called the Roots Framework and it aims to take you from exactly where you are and transition you to regenerative agriculture without yield drop. So the first one is reframe, changing your mindset to believe it's possible. Next is optimize. So optimizing is all about making your current inputs more efficient. So the important thing with this is we're not making these massive changes. We're doing these slow changes over time for a sustainable transition. So optimize can be things like adding humic substances to your starter fertilizer to increase the efficiency. So it's super important we start with this and then go to the next one, which is outsource. So outsourcing is changing the inputs to be more biologically friendly. So for example, rather than using MAP and humic acids, we're using guano. The next is transform. This is where we start to change our system so that the system itself supplies the needs to our crop. So for example, keeping on with phosphorus, we have plenty of phosphorus in our soil. Transform is changing our system so that we're, we're using the phosphorus already in our soil. So that might be things like inoculating with phosphorus solubilizing bacteria or using buckwheat in our cover crops to then release phosphorus from our soil. Finally, we have steward. Stewarding is the last component. Once we have regenerated our farm, we need to sustain or steward that system. This means maintaining and optimizing production. We don't necessarily want to go to no inputs. We want to find that optimized input using a sustainable approach. And most importantly, we do so with the aim of maintaining or increasing profit. 